Hello guys, my name is Alex, I am from Cosmos Sky team and this is Anton shooting us on a GoPro. Now we're in Germany on the biggest European exhibition of musical instruments called Frankfurt Music Messe. Messe means fair. Now we're going down to the first floor of this exhibition, because we're on the third now. All the action back in the first floor now, and there are a lot of tongue drums out there. We'll shoot some OUs to show you a lot of different kinds of real tongue drums from all over the world. So we'll check them off. Look, it's full of double basses and violins here, and they all look like the same. But the tongue drums are all different. I don't know, it may take several years, and all the tongue drums will be the same, hanging in hips here, and it's uncool. So I suppose that the tongue drum will get its classical shape in a few centuries, and uh, its development will stop. So now we're going to visit all of the stands with the top drums. It sounds amazing. It's not tuned a bit. It's a bit smaller. So let's start with Zenko. Here they are. Basically, Zenko is from France and they've been creating hand drums for 10 years. And also, they've been creating tongue drums for 5 or 6 years. We visited them already and we were inspired a lot. Let me show you how they look. It's very cool instruments, but I don't understand what they are made of. It seems to be a blued steel with a burnished finish. No, it's not brass, it's steel or stainless steel. There is a cool hanging hole here. And there's screw thread right here. And it screws onto the rack and stands like this, so you can play on it. I checked a lot of them and I figured out that some of them doesn't sound well. Some of them has got too short sustain that sounds like a pot. No offense, it's just my humble opinion. They've got a dumb bodies without odd frequencies like on another common tongue drums. As you can see, these guys created hemispheres and they don't even weld them, but simply glue them together, just like the tongue drum of stainless steel we made recently that I told about. So I'm gonna play this for a while. It's hard to buy this tank drum for people from Russia, cause it costs 400 euros. And it's very expensive. Yeah, just incredibly expensive. Low frequencies have a good sound. But high frequencies are rather poor. There are special mods here that you can play with. And it makes sound a bit different. It's a problem to play these notes with mallets, but it sounds much better with fingers, so it does resonate very well. I can feel the strong vibration on his body. That's how it's going on. Now we're going to use it with the protective screen, and also I would like to show you a hand drum, but it's taken now, so let's go to the next set out first and then come back here later. Oh, it will be unbelievable now. We were here yesterday before the exhibition started and there were a creative of its instruments and he won't let us play in it cause he was worried that we could screw it up with our greasy hands. Oh, looks like he went away and shut it down now, so nobody can play on it. Well, it's necessary to go back here cause it sounds just incredible. I stood up here with my mouth open. So let's just show it. There is a water ball here to wet your hands before playing on these keys. He was scrubbing these quartz pieces and these aluminium plates were resonating with it. 
and these horns were separated in high and middle frequencies. And this large horn does amplify low frequencies, and it sounds like a thunder with it blows. Oh my god, it's just the cosmic equipment for real. It called Ludophone. This is the contact information of this guy, so you can find his website on the internet. It's just amazing. Okay, let's go further to the next instrument. Oh, here we go. These guys are from Mumbai. We've met already. There were some models they are like in here. I'm confused a bit. I saw the happy drums on a video and it's a famous company and I thought they were Americans crafting these drums for so many years. But these guys said that it's just an American design and so they're craft masters of it. But it sounds really cool. Looks like it got behind, but I'll try it. It's deep, low and amazing. It seems to be the Akibono scale or something like that. I haven't got a taste of these drums yet, but... But I think that some notes sound really bad here, with a lack of something important. So that's how it is. There is a powder pain here, but I don't know. It's also small and it sounds really nice. It's very noisy out there, and it's hard to hear it now. Here are mallets out there, and looks like it's unable to extract all the frequencies, cause they extract only clipped frequency, and the finger is much harder than this mallet. There are some other cool happy drums here. It's the happy drums too, but I still haven't understood whether they are representative of the happy instruments or this is some kind of Indian fake. That's how it's going on, so let's go further. Another great thing that this hemisphere does remove. Yeah, it's hemisphere, but it's hard to hear it now. I saw these drums on the video and they all sound on its own. I mean, it resonates in its own ball. I haven't showed this drum yet, it's got a deep bass as I heard in the video. And now it sounds really good. But I don't like its quality of the production, cause here are some cuts and the lazy traces are there and the angle grinder traces are also seen and it's not fine to be. All the notes are tuned good, there's no doubt, but the paint and all the stuff make it sound timbre. It's wrong to say that that is bad, but it's an acquired taste. So we'll continue to compare the tongue drums. If we compare happy drums and Zenko, I would prefer Zenko. We saw this already. Look, there are a bunch of fun drums. By the way, I checked them already, they are all similar. So I don't want to shoot it right now. Oh my god, wow, it's note F.
It's a fine time drum here. Looks great. Yeah, it looks really great. Wow, it's ambi light acoustic. It's made of stainless steel. It sounds well too. We showed out some drums to them and they liked them a lot. Looks like it's a stainless steel, isn't it? Sounds a bit dumped. Yeah, it is. It's very well made, really good. These cuts look very nice. They were slightly cut through and slightly pinched. It sounds well, but the notes are a bit tensed. There is an original happy drum from America, I saw this already. It's absolutely different. It's got an original label, not a rubber fake. It's an original, I saw this already, and it's really different. And there is a painted timbre too. And all these cuts are also here. You can hear how the paint works the sound. There is a big hole here, but it's empty, so I can't understand why it's there. But it has a worldly sound. And there is something on the side of the mic. No, there is an only cap over there. Oh, great job! Is it a powder paint here? Yeah, it is. And it drowns out the sound a bit. From another hand, this drum has its unique style. It's a double sided drum. It seems to sound unfinished a bit. That drum a bit better than this. Looks like this drum is handcrafted. I think it's also good. All your instruments are very good. Yeah, all we can see here. Great sit out you've got. It's aluminium here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
We sold these 10 drums and hand pants already. I've told you about the price of it, it cost $67. So let's play on it. Here it is, let's check it out now. Wow, there are our neighbors? Yeah. Yeah, it has a double tanks all over the surface. Let's check it now here. It sounds great. And it's handsome too. It's a premium and slide instrument, very well made, but this cap is easily inserted a bit. Look on it, it's a very beautiful drum. Is it annealed? How do you think? No, it seems to be a varnish coating, just like a knife coating. It's a very beautiful gradient here. No, it's not annealed. It sounds cool. I think it's the best tangram I saw on this exhibition. Let's check this one now. It has only a two notes. What does it cost? $500? That one cost 530 euros. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> this one sounds much better. They both have a pleasant touch, but I don't like this rubber. Amazing sound. It's last day of Frankfurt Mercer today and we are at another place now on a sales department. One of our customers is here now. She bought a large double-sided tank drum recently. She brought to us one tank drum made by workshop from California. I know these guys and I saw them videos. The sound of their 10 drums is very superior. They inspired me a lot earlier and I'm very glad now. She's brought it for us to place it at our museum that we created at our workshop. So you can see this special exhibit. This exhibit from California will be placed in Bransk now. It's just unbelievable. I think that we'll assemble a big collection.